Governor Westmore's first full day in office was short on substance, short on specifics, but it was full of symbolism. And they did that on purpose because today's goal was to illustrate what every day to follow is going to be all about. Less than 24 hours after being sworn in, Governor Wes Moore was nearly halfway through his first full day schedule, an agenda that was packed with sit downs, photo ops and announcements to show what a Moore administration is all about. Equity, transparency, accountability, fairness and speed as our core pillars. The governor helmed his first cabinet meeting on Thursday, and he signed executive orders. He also announced he's releasing millions of dollars in state funding to pay for key programs, including climate mitigation, abortion access, and reproductive health care. These investments that we're releasing today brings us a step closer to fulfilling the promise of providing paid family and medical leave for all Marylanders. And after a closed door session with U.S. Attorney Eric Barron and Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown, the leaders emerged and talked about teaming up to combat violent crime. The issue of public safety is one that we plan on focusing on within our administration. In support of our mission to uphold the rule of law, to protect civil rights, and to make our community safer. It's a uh, multidiscipline uh, effort. Uh, and I'm really excited uh, to be here today on day one uh, with Governor Moore. One big theme of the governor's day today was staffing up statewide, including the Office of Parole and Probation is something he talked about a lot during the campaign. We wondered, is he going on a hiring spree? He declined to fill in the blanks, but he did say when pressed, he's looking at thousands of open positions across state government and he and his uh, uh, staff members all said stand by for details they're coming tomorrow when he rolls out his budget reporting live from the state house tonight i'm kate amara wbal tv 11 news